Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the placer node in MASH. So we are going to use the same scene which we have already used uh, while discussing the world node. And this is uh, this placer node is actually uh, does the same thing which a world node does, but in a more customizable way. So let's see how we can uh, use the placer node. So uh, first, as usual, let me check whether everything is in 000. I have already told you in the earlier version of uh, of this Smash Notes that I found. Uh, I don't know. I I I'm still not you know uh, very uh, convinced that this uh, has any any specific reason for that. But I found that if you're making all the values to 000. Uh, the object that we are going to use a, a, a for scattering it actually works perfectly rather than having certain nodes in uh, in your translate values so let's freeze them before you move uh, to use them okay okay so select the object you want to scatter and go to uh, FX to mash option box reset settings apply and close now as usual, you can see that uh, the mash node has already done its work. Go to the, but this time, what you have to do is you have to go to mesh uh, distributor and I just reduce it to one because I really don't need more than one while uh, creating this. So now go to a uh, mesh two node and uh, click on the placer and add placer node. Now immediately you can see there were a certain uh, different uh, uh, attributes came up and also there are certain brush type and uh, some transformation uh, tools that actually came up so I'll just explain uh, most of them and which are uh, really important and uh, which I found is the most important uh, tools which uh, you you will actually need to uh, use this node so first of all is the add node now what what is going to do is this is this is where we can paint our objects on 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 the surface so you can see I can paint my object and it will exactly a uh, place uh, as as we want so it's absolutely customizable I mean it's really fantastic and as it's an add node if you want to delete them you just have to select the delete node and you just remove them so it's almost like a paint effect sort of thing which already happened in uh, which already is in Maya now in the brush the settings the uh, uh, the settings settings are absolutely uh, uh, common settings like any artisan brushes which Maya has since Maya 4.5 so all the old Maya users uh, which are uh, which are using uh, artisan brushes have no problem to uh, you know uh, to understand these things so first of all the brush radius so you will you will get uh, increase your brush size now brush spacing is something which is really really important because that will connect uh, uh, a lot of different things in 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 this particular tool so first of all I would I would uh, <coughs> recommend you to decrease the brush spacing first and just drag them and you can see that how dense uh, this this is going to be so I would recommend this if you are creating a grass sort of uh, uh, placement like you want you want to create a grass instead of a tree then this is the ideal thing that you can do while creating your uh, creating your grass uh, grassland so this is really fantastic but why I'm actually using this brush spacing and decrease the brush spacing is because I want to show you another brush option that is called uh, the collide brush through this. So select the collide brush. Now you can see that immediately all the options got gone uh, unusable and and if I start painting on them it's it's absolutely fantastic that how they are actually getting scattered you know uh, you know from each other so that they are not colliding at all each other so you can understand that what is going on over here is really really fantastic that if any any of the object is colliding with each other they are going to be separated by this particular brush now this is really interesting and very important 
the third the brush id i i'm not really sure what exactly this particular brush drew but i i suppose that this is something related to paint id which will be which you can use in in mash animation later on but not in context of uh, you know uh, placing is placing this kind of objects but yes if you if you are using any any ids while animating the mash then i think this is this will be the right one uh, to uh, use uh, apart from this, these are the uh, transformation tools which is uh, which are out there, and I told you that this is a very customizable uh, uh, node for for creating, uh, you know, placing uh, object. Now I'll just place them, and what I will do is I want to I want to uh, place them in in differently, and I want to move them. So what you can do is you can s drag that area, and immediately you can see you can select those base points and earlier in the dynamic node i have told you that you uh, we actually cannot select uh, any any of the uh, object and you know uh, hit move tool and I, I cannot i cannot move them at all okay and uh, we have to use the uh, uh, the uh, offset uh, node for that but you can see it's in the offset node uh, that offset or multiply or rotate or override values so <clears throat> that was the only way to you know uh, to create a, to, to move any of your uh, mash objects but here in the Mac uh, mash placer node you will find out while selecting on the on the uh, uh, selecting the uh, move tool you can drag Oops, sorry, I have to select. Sorry. Yes. I don't know what is going on. Okay, yeah. So I I really have no idea why this is. So now what we can do is, I can move them separately. So each an individual objects can be placed according to our requirement. This is the most uh, biggest part of of the uh, of the placer node. And in fact, you can rotate them, uh, you can scale them which is really really fantastic uh, you can increase the scale value of them same but I would recommend it uh, you use a universal scaling not in a not any specific because that will give you a very bad result so this is something really really interesting and apart from that one more thing which I would like to uh, add on this which is the mesh, uh, the, which is the paint meshes, which is uh, another most important uh, factor over here is I can, uh, take an object, a, a polygon mesh and select this polysphere, add to that paint meshes option. And now if I take my, uh, Add brush, and I will start painting on my surface, which was earlier I uh, earlier been selected. Nothing happening. Nothing is happening. So, but if I click on this object, the sphere, I can see that I can paint on this particular surface. So this is something which is really really important, where you add your add a specific object, and you want to put your objects or you, you want to distribute your objects on that specific surface so you don't need to create an an entire scene or entire field for that if you want to add certain marsh or, or certain grass on on specific areas 
you can separate them and make them a separate object and put those uh, grasses on that particular uh, uh, that that specific subject uh, sorry specific uh, mesh so this is something really really interesting and also very convenient to place your uh, uh, desired um, uh, you know desired objects like rocks like uh, like grasses or or even trees so these are the these are the major uh, uh, part for the placer node. I hope you uh, understand and enjoy this video. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you very much.